hello guys hi everyone how you guys doing so today i want to talk about uh, one reason why your business feels stuck all right why your business feel stuck <laughs> trying to move Ooh, i'm sorry guys so one reason why your business feels stuck um but before we go into that i have my three housekeeping as usual number one is if you have any question or you have anything you want us to talk about dm me pm me email me or put it down in the comment section below number two if you're watching me right now type hashtag live if you're watching me on replay type hashtag replay also i would like to know where you're watching me from um all right so please let me know where you're watching me from number three uh has to be number three is to work with me email me pm me dm me the word work with kate all right and i will send you all the details you need on how to apply all right so let's go right in why do you feel stuck in your business why a lot of times like so many times we are not paying attention you know like when you feel stuck in your business think what is it why do i feel stuck what is it that i'm not doing or what is it that you're doing that is even making you stuck okay think about it so why are you stuck i have one reason you are not paying attention and you don't want to know the truth number one and only one reason is not paying attention when you feel stuck in your business i want you to look at everything in the business where is it you're not connecting with people or you are not uh, responding to DMs, PMs, or you're not being visible enough. Well, there's a lot of reasons, but I just sum it up to one because you are not paying attention. Sometimes when we go into business, we just want to see the bigger picture, which is I'm successful or I failed, right? Is it that you're successful or you failed, right? But it's bigger than that. It's bigger than just being successful or just fail, failing or giving up on yourself. It is bigger than that. I want you to look in, like look at your business in a different way. Of course, the reason why most people start a business is we want the money, right? That's not bad. Another thing is, I love it. I want to help. Like me, I want to help other moms. Right? That's again, that's something good. But when you're doing everything right, in your opinion, and you feel like you're stuck, you are not moving forward. You feel like something is off, but I don't know what it is. I want you to just sit, think, and figure out what's the problem because if you don't know the problem you're not going to solve it i have a client that i work with some time ago i worked with her for six months i was supposed to work with her for three months and then she you know we did like monthly uh coaching right for extra three more months so making it six months the problem she has was everything is fine Everything is fine. She was doing everything right. But she wasn't seeing the other part. She didn't see, even though she sat, she sat down to think about it. She sat down to look through everything. Everything still seems okay. But when I came into the picture, that's when she's like, I could have thought of that. 
there is something missing in your business. Look into your connection. Are you connecting enough? You cannot start a business, especially through social media, and not connect with people. When you, you have a business and you rely solely on social media, you got to be social in order for you to be successful. You don't just post and ghost. You just don't uh, keep liking. Liking doesn't do you no good. You just don't like just keep liking your friend's posts or even like, you know, like you got to do more. If you want to be successful on social media, unfortunately, that's the only route, to be honest. Starting a business used to be difficult, okay? When you start a business, like before social media, right, you have to go through a lot of hoops. And the next thing for you to advertise, you got to go through TV station, you know, like, Radio station, newspapers, which cost a ton of money, right? You got to think about the cost, the overhead cost of renting a store. You, so it's like a lot. Now social media made it easy for us to start. Even if you're in your bedroom, you can start a business. Even if you live in a garage, you can start a business. Even if you live out on the street, you can still start a business so long as you have internet connection which is easier, right? But it also has its own struggles, its own, you know, things that you got to do to be successful on social media, which is being social. You have to be social. I know a lot of people find it difficult to be like, okay, I'm on, I'm on my phone the entire day. <clears throat> Look at your schedule. How many hours are you spending on social media? And how many of those hours are you actually engaging with your people? How many of those hours did you take to actually look at your target audience, see what they want or what are their pain points? See how you can solve it for them. If you belong to any group, are you paying attention to see if there's someone that needs help where you can help them solve it? You see why I say the whole problem is not paying attention. I some the reason why you're stuck because you're not paying attention. <clears throat> you might hate me. That's okay. You might not like this training today. That's fine. But I'm going to tell you the truth. Every day you have to be social. You got to be on the internet, on Instagram, or on Facebook or LinkedIn, wherever it is that you're going to be social, wherever it is that your people are, you got to go there and socialize. You have to go there and help and give value and show people who you are. Be visible. Nobody know you exist if you're not there, if you don't show up, if you don't help people solve their problem. Nobody knows you exist. You have to be there. When you hear people say, I book client." Either they're doing it with their money to book client, to get people, to engage with people, or they're using your, you have to invest one, time or money. So think about it. What is it are you doing? What are you doing actually that is making you stuck? Or what are you not doing that is making you stuck? Like I said, just one, not paying attention. Sometimes you might think you're doing everything right. Have you taken the time to look at your schedule? How many hours did you spend? And how many of those hours help your business move a little needle? Just move your business a little bit. How many? Secondly, you might be piecing things together. All the little, you know, you get the free thing here. You get the free thing. They're trying to piece them together. And it's not working. Why do you want to keep doing that? Why not invest on the co in a coach? Pay someone else to bring in a new idea. Get a coach to look into it for you. To help you give you fresh ideas. So you move on. One thing that I tell my clients, right? 
walking with me is the best decision you can make. Because like, when you're all by yourself, you're in a bubble. You cannot see really well. But when someone else <clears throat> that have idea comes in the bubble with you, that bubble can continue, guys, because it's way too small. Now, that means I can see even better. You can see even better. Investing in yourself is the best thing you can do. If you feel stuck, figure it out. What is it? If you cannot figure it out, get help. There's nothing wrong with getting help. There's nothing wrong with getting a coach. If you, there's something that I saw, um, one of the posts that I saw, I, you know, you know, when I was like within the, the hour that I was engaging um, with people's posts, I saw a, some, a lady that made a post and she said, if you want it now, it's all up to you. What do you want? So if you want it now, it's up to you. What do you want? We might think like having a coach, right? You save money, but you actually waste time. And what do you know? Time is what? Money. You are wasting it either way. Right? If having a coach right now is way expensive, right? For you, you think it's expensive. All right, that, that makes sense, right? Then you're stuck for extra 10 months. Which one is more expensive? If you hire the coach, let's say you paid 5K to hire this coach, right? 5,000 and you guys work for six months. And every month you make 10K for the next six months. Let's say, you, let's say the first month you didn't make anything because you guys were trying to structure things. Or let's say two months. Out of the six months, you didn't make anything because, you know, you're working on the foundation and the system and all that. Month three, month four, month five, month six. The next four months, you make 5K or 10K every month. If you make, let's say you make 5K every month for four months. That's 20K. How much did you invest again? 5K. Now you got 20K. And not just 20K. With a relationship, you have a relationship. You can always call text, email your coach. When you feel stuck, hey Kate, um, I'm so sorry. I know you taught me this, but I don't know. This, 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 that. Kate is going to be like, hey, what is it? Even if I have someone else, you are my client. Right? I will always listen to you. If you require you signing up with me again, let's do it. As long as you show off your return on investment. Who is losing? If you say you don't have 5K to invest in a coach, now you spend six whole months with not even one single client. You lose. You lost. I want you to think, change the mindset. Move, shift that mindset out of the way. When you feel stuck, figure it out. Why am I stuck? Why am I not moving forward? Why do I feel like all my effort is in vain? What is it that I'm not doing? Or oh, that I'm doing, but I'm not doing it the right way. If you cannot figure it out, I'm here to help you. I'm a business coach and I can help you get out of that, whatever it is, that hole, that little hole that you are stuck in, I can help you get out of it. Email me, DM me, PM me the word, work with Kate. And I'll help you get you out of there. Investing in yourself is the best decision you can make. I used to feel this way. I used to get stuck. I used to think, okay, why am I here? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing that? Why am I not doing like, you know, getting forward or moving forward like every other person? Until I got a coach. She got me where I want to be. It's not easy. But the, th the good thing is at least I have someone to run my ideas by like I just have to like I have this idea what do I do hey hey this is okay let's see how we can make it work that's why I love her she's not like telling you what to do she taught me 
I don't tell you what to do. We, pe- we figure it out together. I want to know what is it that you want. And I will show you, okay, do it this way because this you are Kate. It, it will favor you this way than this way. But let's see how that goes. That's coaching. And that's what I'm going to teach you. That's what I'm going to help you get done. DM me the word work with Kate. PM me the word work with Kate. Email me the word work with Kate. Let me get you unstuck. Let me get you out of there. You are not supposed to be stuck. You should be moving. You should be flowing like waters. If there's an S in water. Right? Flowing. That's what you should be doing. Getting stuck means there's a problem. Sometimes you get stuck because you don't know what to do first and what to do next. Sometimes you're stuck because you're not confident enough. Sometimes you're stuck because you are not visible enough. No one knows you exist. Sometimes you are stuck because you don't know what it takes to be where you are. It might take you longer time to piece all this together. But working with me makes it easier for you. Working with me makes it easier, a whole lot easier. What is it that you're not paying attention to? I remember when I did um, when I did one of the uh, um, challenges. I think it's in August or September, right? I did one of the challenges um, about unlimited leads and sales. I think that's what I did. I made an offer to whoever signed up for that free challenge. I have a sign like a, a, an opt-in page for them to opt in, kind of like one well, opt-in page, a sales page. So when you sign up for my free thing, right? My next uh, funnel is to send you straight to my uh, group coaching program. Okay. So the problem was. I keep seeing people, to, you know, they kept signing in to my free thing, but I didn't get no one signed into my coaching program, even though I had a whole lot of discount. I, I think I gave like about 50% off or so. No one was signing in. I wasn't sure what, I was like, what is happening? Excuse me. Does it mean my deal wasn't good enough? <laughs> Does it mean my offer wasn't good enough? I felt horrible. Do you know what happened? As a business lady, I always, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. As a coach, I have to figure it out. Doesn't mean I have all the answers, but I'm going to do my part. Do you know what happened? When you finish signing off my free training, I realized that when it takes you to the um, sales page for my group coaching, it actually, it was black. So if you're the person that you're done signing in and instead of sh- taking you because i it's after signing it takes you to my thank you page right within that thank you page is where i did my i made my offer for the group coaching right but when you're done instead of showing you my thank you page and my offer it actually shows you a black page i didn't know i never knew because when i when i set it up everything was fine I tested it. I tried it out. Everything was perfect. But maybe if you, for some reason, something was off and people signed in, but that page was black. See, that was my problem. I got to figure it out. How many times have you looked at your sales funnels? At all your, all the your automation see which one is working right and which one is not working right have you done that you might set up things behind the scene and think it's working fine go check them out there's a lot of things that might make you feel stuck the easiest is you not making sales you not closing client is the worst and what does that mean you are not engaging enough that's what it is. Nobody, nobody is hearing about you. As you can see, 
all this problem boils down to you are not knowing what the problem is you don't know you're not paying attention you like it is as easy as that not paying attention just take it that way good or bad i know i might be hurting hurting your feelings but it is it is the truth not paying attention get you stuck so 20 minutes all right okay pay attention to your business do the most important thing and leave the things that are not important do the most important things the most are the income generating activities in your business things that will move the needles in your business do that more like more of those stuff few few days ago i gave you guys list of things that will move needles like income generating activities that you should be doing every day do more of that you doesn't you don't have to be stuck you don't have to be stuck but i know i get it businesses get stuck which is okay figure it out if you cannot figure it out hey i'm always here dm me pm me email me the word kate oh sorry work with kate work with kate and i will send you all the information you need to work with me i i'm gonna send you pre-qualification because i have to qual- pre-qualify my people i just don't work with everyone if you go through all the information that i'm sending you and we click hey good luck we're gonna be fine if we doesn't if we don't click that's okay too all right i don't ha- i cannot help everyone but if it happens that we you go through my pre-qualification process and you make it fine we're gonna work together but if not that is okay but i want you to look for help invest your money or your time if you need to run ads you don't know how to do it get an expert to help you get it done it's better for you to pay someone and get the money than you sit on it try to figure it out and six months it's gone you lost you lose more like I said earlier, if you paid five thousand dollars to a coach, more, <laughs> right? Or you pay a little less than five k, three k, right? To me, as your coach, right? And at the end of the three months, you made triple. Who is gaining you? Either that one or the other side of the story. You are there for the whole three months. You didn't make no dime. You didn't spend no dime. You sat on your 5K or on your 3K, whatever K it is that I, because I'm not going to tell you, you know, I'm not going to tell you how much you're going to pay with every coach. But hey, you can always email me, DM me, and I will tell you all the information you need to know. But figure it out. Invest or use your time. Invest in your money. Sorry, invest with money or invest with your time you choose but i want you to be wise sitting on your problem doesn't solve it but looking for solutions seeking for solution help you get forward help you move forward so why are you stuck you are not paying attention that's that's it you might think you are but you are not to be honest there are things you cannot see because it's happening right under your nose you cannot see it this is like blocking it but someone else has to come in to see it clearer or maybe you're doing everything right but you need to you know try something different or the same thing but tweak it a different way just a little tweak might change everything for you so invest invest your time or money like I said, you can always DM me, PM me, email me the word, work with Kate. And I will send you all the information you need so we can work together. All right? That's all I have for today. Hopefully, you have an eye-opening, you know, kind of like make you have a discussion with yourself to think about it. 
Why are you holding yourself back from success? Why do you feel you cannot do it if Miss A or Miss B is doing it? Why do you feel that way? Why do you make excuses when there's none? Why do you feel you are not worth it? Why do you feel that? Is it something that happened in the past? Let's work on your mindset. Come on. Let's get the mindset ready. Let's set up your mindset. Let's shift your mindset so you can succeed. DM me. PM me the word work with Kate. Let's do this. All right. Have a great weekend, guys. Talk to you tomorrow. Oh, by the way, on Monday, I'm going to talk to everyone, but the time might be different in case you're watching this, okay? Um, I might be moving this to 4 p.m., but please watch out for my announcement, all right? Um, I have about almost two weeks for this um, daily live streaming to end. So within these two weeks, the time might be different, all right? So I might go maybe one hour earlier or maybe one hour after. So is it that I do it at 4 or I do it at 6 p.m.? I mean, my Pacific time, right? Right now, I do it at 5. So is it that we go to 4 p.m. or we go right down to um, 6 p.m.? All right. So I'm going to just keep an eye for my announcement. All right. All right, guys. Take care of yourself and talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Don't forget to DM me the word work with Kate or PM me or email me. All right. All right, guys. Bye.